Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode number 43. Got a whole bunch of ideas for design stuff that I want to do. But um, before we do that, I think we need to fix that pathing bug. I'm going to turn off these other cubes because I do believe <clears throat> that the pathing bug is strictly between these two objects. Oh, wait, did I fix this last time by uh, just updating faces? Yeah, that did it. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know why the scene didn't save those new spaces. But <clears throat> seems to be okay now. So, let's see. That means that the name of my... Stream is totally wrong. I'll probably change it later. So, <clears throat> what about these other ideas that I had? Um, I had an idea for a pressure plate. So when a whittling walks on top of a face or a certain cube, that locks the cube in place. So you can spin it as many times as you want, and then... Yeah, let's do that. Because I think the pressure plate idea, if I set it up correctly, I'll also be able to stop the cubes from turning when a whittling is currently on them. So, yeah, not good, right? <laughs> Yeah, we don't want that to, to be allowed at all. It looks very bad. You might notice my new keyboard sound. I got a brand new mechanical keyboard. Oh yeah. The DOS Keyboard 4. I like it a lot so far. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> So, the pressure plate. Um, let's just grab a cube prefab. And uh, for my limited spin, I'm just going to put this up real high. Or you know what, how about for this one, my starting up face is going to be straight. And we'll rotate it zero. There we go. And sure, why not? We'll call this cube. Pressure plate lock. And let's spin this, uh, oops, none. Oh, you know what? Here. <clears throat> oh. Interesting. Um, let's rename this back to cube. I've updated my faces. Let's do an L face. There we go. And faces are updated, and then let's fix this prefab. Cool. So how is this pressure plate going to work? <clears throat> Essentially, when a whittling enters a path node, and that path node is not the new path node and his old path node are on different cubes, then I should run the on exit cube delegate that I'm going to create for the cube he's leaving, and on enter cube delegate for the cube he's entering. I like that idea. 
Those should probably be in the cube core, right? Maybe in the cube rotator? No, I like, it makes more sense to me to be in the cube core. Yeah, okay. And I do believe that we can just use two Unity actions. Mm, that typing action. Okay, so here's our cube core. Um, I do believe, would this be in my whittling itself? Whittling movement. Awake, walking, easier update, overlapped. If we overlap nothing, return. If it's the goal, if we're not walking already, start new face. So if this happens, this is our path node. No, so overlapped uh, get owning face, get owning cube core, on Whitling enter cube. <clears throat> If the overlapped equals target node, branched path node, so that's, we don't really care about that, because branch nodes don't currently, I don't know if they ever will actually, go from cube A to cube B. So here, overlapped get next. Face traverse direction. Start pathing new face. How does this work? Just give it the direction. <clears throat> So it's got to be this one. This is the only thing we care about when we're moving to the next face, right? <clears throat> um, let's do this here. So actually, I'm, this is the second time I'm getting the owning core. Cube core. And then I can use this here on Whitling. So let's see. Overlapped is the new one that we just walked over. <clears throat> So that's the one that we're going to enter. Now we need to get the old one. Oh no! Overlapped, get next. So this takes in a path node to start with.
Okay. So this would actually be overlapped core on Whitling exits. And then next face starts. There we go. Let's see, I'm a little bit weird about this overlapped core. On trigger enter. So he's actually entering. Oh, yeah. He'd be entering the final node on that face. Let's give it a shot. Um, cube core in start. So this is going to say entered and you know what we can probably just Oh, we got cube, limited spin. Whoa. What are these doing here? Just hanging out at the origin. All of them. I'm not too happy about that. Where did they come from? Ah, I didn't do the check to see if it's on a different cube. Right, right, right. Um, <laughs> so, overlapped core. So if they are not the same, then do this. Enter cube begin, exited cube begin, entered limited, exited limited, entered cube, dead end. Solid. Super duper solid. Oh, hey. Ooh, you know what? Um, I have a few more ideas that I want to write down before I forget. Ah, sorry. Um, cube types, so we've got what was that? Pressure plate lock. So, um, I also had the idea of 
um, sort of gravity boots. And the idea is certain cubes, when the Whitling is walking on them, normally he enters the cube and you can't spin it anymore. But I want a special cube or a special Whitling power up. So maybe a power up or item that when you spin the cube and the Whitling's on it, the Whitling stops moving and spins with the cube and then continues going. That, that is a very cool idea. Um, I also want bridges and ladders. Although I guess all of them would just be bridges. A bridge is just the ladder that's horizontal. You know what I mean? So maybe we could come up with a better name for bridges, the connectors. It's still not very good. Um... But yeah, the bridges would allow you to attach a bridge to a cube and cross some sort of gap that was previously uncrossable. And I do believe that if the Whitling was coming from this side and placed the bridge, I would put... Oh, hey, I put... Oh, what's going on there? I put little bolts there so that if this cube did get rotated then the bridge would be, you know, up here. Oh, that's not quite right. It would be over here, right? <clears throat> Ooh! See, that's an interesting point. This bridge probably should be... Oh, Jesus. Super thin. Because the Whitling should also be able to walk like this across the bridge. So, this is going to be fun. I'm not going to do that today. Um, I feel like I had a couple more ideas. I guess I'll just let them be for now. They'll pop back up, I'm sure. The best ideas always come back. Habit. <laughs> okay, so when we enter the cube, I'm just going to make a special script. Even though it's not really that special, it's going to be by default on all of the cubes. And we'll say um, lock spin when occupied. Is that a good way to say it? So when a Whitling is on top of a cube, it should not spin. Sure. And this is going to be super duper simple. Um, lock spin when occupied. I am going to in start. On Whitling enter cube. And it's going to add get component cube rotator. I could just say on check can rotate and then add something that returns false, right? I don't like that. That's not really a check, right? Where's my cube rotator? What are you doing over here, buddy? Do I have, I have an is rotating. Well, I don't. <laughs>
set ease duration, begin rotating. Classic mistake. <laughs> What's my time looking at? 20 minutes, okay. Plenty of time. Kind of tempted to set can rotate in here as well. No. No, 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 no. These would be two separate checks. So these are things that are reliant on logic and the state of the world. And this is just an extra easy out to say, hey, if you can't rotate, just don't do anything. And we'll need a mutator. Lock spin while occupied dot set can rotate false. Yeah, I really should be using Vim, huh? I could be doing this a lot more quickly. On exit cube, set can rotate true. Okay. So let's test this out. Where's my Whitling prefab? What is your walk speed? Good, good sir. One. Let's do a 0 0.1, factor of 10. No! Hey, why? What? No! <laughs> Cube limited spin. 100. Sure. But why? Whittling entered cube. Cube begin. Exited cube begin. So my rotator can rotate. So this actually never went to false. Entering cube limited spin, so this didn't happen. <clears throat> if this didn't happen, it means that... <laughs> God damn it. Sometimes you have to attach the script in order for your code to run. I swear. So Q limited spin, Q begin. Let's apply this here. Do I not have a cube limited spin prefab? I thought I did. And then our basic cube prefab, let's just add it here. No, why? Enter cube limited spin, can rotate. Lock spin when occupied. Okay. So, I know that this is happening. So we're running the enter and exit. Oh, I bet. 
I bet this plus equals is being executed first, excuse me. And this equals is overriding Point one is way too slow. Yeah. Still not great. My rotation count's not going down. Awesome. Cool. Wow. So we've got lock, lock cubes, another 15 minutes of work. Button, no, update all cubes in the scene. Disable cube rotation. I don't know if the order really matters. Um, Sound effects would be nice, not really quite too necessary. So let's get our pressure plates. Um, what did I call that? Cube. Pressure plate lock. <clears throat> So that means our pressure plate lock. Um, we actually don't need a lock spin when occupied because as soon as the whittling enters the cube, we're gonna just lock it permanently. We are gonna want a tint. Twenty-five, twenty-five, one, no. Change on start, that is not true. Face container, link a Rooney. And so, we're gonna need one more, and this is going to be pressure plate lock component. See, that's how I should do it. Um, I make a script, it's the order of operations, create a script, immediately attach it to the object or objects that I want to attach it to. Pressure plate lock on start. And all this is going to do is we're going to get components um, tint. We're going to tint the wall paths. And then on enter cube, we're also going to get component for the cube rotator. No, I think it's cube core actually. No, it's rotator, it's gotta be. On check can rotate. And we'll just say return false, you are done. I've never added a delegate inside of a delegate before. 
But I mean, what is that like six lines of code? Four really, excluding bodies. Oh, change the whittling speed. Let's get that back. Come on, buddy. Factor of 10. So, should boop. Nice. Oh, hey. You go all the way down under here. Neato. And I assume, click, cube pressure plate lock cannot rotate. Uh, to stick with our variable spin, let's actually create an empty object for lock tint. I'm getting really tired of this, so <laughs> let's use a preset, right? There we go. Face container. That means that our lock tint here, we are going to turn it on, and we'll do like a Danger yellow. Red, green. Uh, that means that our pressure plate is going to need a reference to this lock tint. The only variable it will need. Well, I say that now. It'll probably change. That is a tint. Oh, hey. And then special cubes. Now we have a pressure plate lock. Definitely not the prettiest yellow, but it gets the job done. Eventually, I'm going to want some kind of UI. It's not a bad idea for our to-do list. To-do. Jeez, are we like getting there? Seems a little bit, no, that's correct. Um, reverse cubes, linked cubes. Aha, I like that. Linked cubes. So, see, it's so nice. Once we have the pathing done, designing is just like, oh, boom, 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 boom. That's my designing sound effect. Cube Spirit Link. I like that a lot. I probably will change it eventually. So, Cube Rotator. I have an on begin rotate, don't I? 
Unity action. Cool. Yeah, that should work. Um, remember, attach the scripts. Yes, I want to break the prefab. Um, let's also throw a tint on here as well. Starting to run out of colors, huh? Let's do a nice bubblegum pink. Change on start. Uh, they'll each have their own face container separately. There we go. <clears throat> and our spirit link. Like, uh, with these delegates, it's so awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy I set it up this way. Begin rotate. <laughs> okay, I'm putting that in the to do. <laughs> Fix um, Unity C sharp template missing two forward slashes. Oh, me. So our spirit link needs a serialized field. I could just put it on one of these. So like I have a link to B and then could I have B link to C? Oh dear. That sounds a lot cooler. Maybe even then the little Whitling could be walking and he could like sprinkle some spirit dust and then link that up with the spirits of that color. Hmm. It's a possibility. Hmm. <laughs> I guess for now, let's just do it with one so I don't have to link them back and forth. One link is enough. Cube rotator linked rotator. So, actually, I would be doing on my begin rotate, I am also going to, oh dear, how does a begin rotate even work? We've got to rotate by. I actually need to call begin rotate and I need to find out how much it's being rotated by the direction. Hmm. 
That seems correct, but how can I get the rotation? Spirit. Okay. So when I rotate, on begin rotate, I have to say linked rotator. There we go. Linked rotator, begin rotate. My rotator get rotate by. Oh, hey. <clears throat> We're also going to need to do the inverse of this, right? So, linked rotator. And that's going to be my rotator. And I definitely need to get rid of, I'm just gonna call this cube. No more spirit link here. So this cube, spirit link, is linked to this cube. I guess I'm assuming that cubes have spirits now. Oh. Stack overflow exception. Hmm. <laughs> Damn it, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so begin rotate calls on begin rotate calls begin rotate calls on begin rotate want want how am i going to fix this could be a problem. Even if I separated this into two scripts, hmm. Let's just try it this way. That's pretty cool.
You know, I sort of like the idea of only one of them... And then maybe if we wanted to, we could... just manually link them up separately. Ooh, stack overflow. Okay, so that double double linkage is real bad. Not exactly the sweetest solution, but let's go change the begin rotate function cool um, and we'll say this use on begin rotate not use execute on begin rotate delegate. Give it a default value of true. And then down here, if error, don't error. <laughs> I really couldn't see any other way around that. Oh. Oh, hey, guess who didn't call the function correctly? Um, also, that means that this second cube doesn't need both, or it doesn't need its own spirit link. Oh. <laughs> there we go. And spirit link, begin rotate. False. <clears throat> yeah. Whoa, what are you doing there? Oh, no. Oh, no. What? Oh, interesting. So what's happening here is when I spin a cube, part of my code is turning on all of the faces of the cube that is spinning. But I believe that my begin rotate sort of jumps in under that. It hits the chain of execution after disable or after enabling all of the faces. So where does that happen? Who calls begin rotate? Should only be one or two places. Scrape particle system. Rotate selected. Oh, right up here. Direct center of the cube. This is my unprojected line stuff. Test swipe. Uh, this should be a thousand for debugging. That's why my WASDA wasn't working anymore. Hmm. I don't see where I get 
turn on those faces. Update cube rotation. I'm going to take complete. Begin ease. It can't be in here. Hmm. That's quite the mystery. I'd like to solve it in the last 10 minutes here. I just need to find where that code is. And cube controller update. It's gotta be in the face, right? I'm really worried about this plan. Waiting to validate. Get leaf nodes. I feel like I can get rid of you. It's been a long time since I've looked at this. Validate path nodes. Set renderers active. Cube core. Hide inactive faces. So it's in the core, I guess. Handle begin rotate. Activate and break all paths. Who calls this? Handle begin rotate. Rotator. I'll begin rotate. What? In theory, this should be executed twice. Once. But why? On begin rotate. Ah, right, because I disabled the on begin rotate delegate being executed. That means that this handle begin rotate never actually gets called. So let's publicize this. Yes, 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 I know. And then, it's all this. You can get rid of this too. And delete and code. I don't know what this means. Put this in awake and make the array a member variable. Get components and children. That's probably what I meant. Yes. So now spirit link.
Yeah, two handle begin rotates. Solid. Um. I lost you, buddy. Where did you go? There we go. Cool. Can't do anything. Oh, and a whittling dies. Oh my god. What's gone? What's happened to you? Sweet Jesus. So it thinks both of these are can rotate false. That's not good. Why is that? Entered. Dead. So... This cannot rotate, but this one can. So fail, click, ooh, 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 what happened there? Well, I think this was a pretty successful day. We made like three or four different types of cubes. Oh, actually, I guess we only made two cubes. But we also stopped the cube from rotating when the Whitling walked on top of it. So, um, yeah, I guess the next order of business will be fixing that bug. Where if the Whitling dies on a cube, can't rotate it anymore. Oh, well, of course that's not going to work because that's our pressure plate lock. <sighs> ah, I have an idea. We're testing this. Let's get the let's kill the Whitling here. I have a yeah, that'll kill him. Oh, <laughs> Shizer. Well, he did. Um. Ah oh, man. Well, he did die on that, and I can't spin it anymore. That's fine, but I want to see that again. Huh. Well, it is... What's the word I'm looking for? Repeatable. I can reconstruct the error. So that'll go on our list for next time. Uh, thank you so much, and I hope you have an awesome day.